Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. The Young and the Restless hasn't raised Cameron Kirsten from the grave or dusted off Matt Clark for a third reign of terror. If you can believe it, Sharon is facing something even scarier than her abusive exes, obsolescence. Over the decades, the writing for Emmy winner Sharon Case's beloved character has become weirder and weirder, with her bipolar diagnosis being used to explain away anything that wouldn't otherwise make sense. And whenever the powers that be don't know what to do with her, they just add another career to her resume. At this point, she's a barista-slash-therapist business tycoons. By the time you're done reading this article, she'll probably also be a lawyer. But the thing is, the show doesn't do anything with Sharon's myriad jobs. She renamed Cameron's company, and then what? Puffed. She earned her degree to counsel patients, yet doesn't have any. Mostly, she just pours coffee, and that's if she's on at all. Young and Restless started Sharon down the path to a new romance with Chance, only to slam the brakes so hard, she probably hit her head on the windshield. Since then, she's been stuck so far on the back burner, she's at risk of falling off the stove. And we don't get it. Sure. Plotlines ebb and flow. No one is front and center all the time. But when Cameron kicked the bucket, Sharon's story seemed to die with him. Why? The show must know that Case is an MVP and her character, adored. How come she hasn't been given a new love interest? Because let's face it, while neither Sharon nor any woman needs a man, we tune in for the love stories, and that's a department in which the show is sorely lacking these days. Our hope is that the writers will recognize how desperately in need of saving Sharon is and introduce someone new for her. The last thing she, or viewers, need is a re-retread of Shik, or Shadam. As it is, Nick, too, is stuck in storyline Siberia, and Adam is flailing in the shadows when his and Sally's reunion should be hotter than hot. Bring on Grace and McCouch, Dusty, as the world turns, or Paul Anthony Stewart, Danny, guiding light, and not as another CEO, please, and let the sparks fly.